my husband, the wannabe comedian, but should stick to writing books instead. It took me a long time to accept and even find humor in the fact my husband was a master shade throwing troll. I think he especially loved my reaction. When the topic of our orange president came up, he would say the following just to get under my skin. I knew this because I would hear him chuckle when and after he said this. Ass, Donald Trump, greatest president ever. The first time I heard that, I told him, Michael, you are married to an immigrant. He doesn't want me here. I'm from one of those shithole countries, his reply. He doesn't care about Guyana, and besides, I can name a few shitholes right here. I would just look at him, suck my teeth, and leave him with his foolishness. My husband was also that type that would touch you as he talked, and then he would tap the shoulder or arm that I just told him, hurt from a needle. His stupid face would turn red, and he would laugh and say sorry. My mother found great enjoyment out of this. I caught her smiling and laughing a few times. My mother was also a master shade thrower with her dry humor. And to my surprise and the surprise of Michael, they got along better than he and I did. He once told me so, saying, I was worried your mother coming here would be just as much of a stiff ass Brit as you, if not worse. Of course, I had to remind him that I am not British. And of course, he had to come back with the fact that yes, I may be Guyanese, but the truth of it was that while the people of Guyana have their own traditions and culture, it can't be denied that some of it has blended with the British traditions as well. Not to mention, he loved to remind me that in a predominantly Spanish-speaking continent, my country was the only one where the main spoken language was English. I, of course, sucked my teeth and waved away at his stupidness, but deep down, he was right. Just don't tell him that. He gets a big head sometimes.